Welcome back to Let's Play the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker It has been a long time coming to Return from my mental breakdown I feel like I'm making light of it, but it really was. It's fucking awful. Only now, on the 22nd of September, I finally set up the GameCube again. I mean, I've done recording for October and all that shit. Like, past couple of days, week or so, you know? So I've been doing recording just now for this. Also, this, right here. Listen it. It's just playing that over and over again. It's, uh... So like the original time when I originally did it, I was actually just playing it at like semi turn apart. It's actually in F sharp, so I'd have to like to get the full effect, I'd have to tune my guitar I think half a step up maybe. I'm just trying to work out what chord it is. It's an F sharp of some description. It's got maybe anyway, it's got root fifth. I think it might be Lydian mode, but I'm not sure. It's got like a C sharp and a G sharp in there as well, so it's confusing me. Wait, if that's the case, actually, maybe... No, no. That, that actually would be... Would it? Oh, wait. That would be the fifth, actually, the C sharp would be. Oh, it's also got a B. That's, that's one that's throwing me off. It's like a minor chord would have like the A. Major chord would have the uh, A sharp or B flat. While well, that's neither of these. You got G sharp and a B. So it's kind of throwing me off. It could be something else entirely. Maybe, uh, maybe it's a G sharp chord or some description. Would that work? Maybe these combined Love it. F sharp, C sharp. Yeah. I'd still be missing the B note. It's a really confusing chord that is. I can't work out what it is. Interval wise, this thing. It's like under. It's it's like it's got a fifth and a fourth, uh, so that making eleven, I think. But then you got the G sharp, and it's got no third. It's really weird. What would the G sharp be interval wise? G sharp would be. Oh, that'd be a two, actually. My god, that is weird, actually. It's like it's a sus two and a sus four chord, but it's got the fifth instead of a third. Wait, no. The whole reason of that would be that, you know, sus two and four are, are that way because they don't have a third. So never mind. It's like it's combining both chords together. How unusual. It also kind of goes to an E flat or a D sharp. It like goes right there. So it's got that E sh uh, E flat or D sharp in there as well. How confusing is that? Can't work it out. Anyways, we should get on with the game. It's been a long ass time. Um. My control is not working. Is it even plugged in properly? Let me just check. I don't think it is. Yeah, there we go. Also, I'm uh, just now noticing I've still got the brightness set up a bit too much from when I did recording for Resident Evil 2 a while back. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop the recording and set it back to how it usually is because this is it's my normal caps card. So like I want to use the caps card I was sent, but it's just like I feel like Wind Waker kind of looks all right, even with my crap caps card. But Resident Evil 2, I definitely want to use the uh, updated caps card for that because it looks like shit with my main caps card here, you know. So I'm gonna stop recording and I'll be right back. Oh, the joys of post commentary. Uh, you know, um, because it's been, I've really like been doing much recording, especially with the capture card recently. It's just like a bit rusty, see? So, uh, I accidentally forgot to save the second half of the commentary for this part. So, uh, post commentary. So I'm gonna hit play on the video to uh, sync up my post commentary with the video in three, two, one, zero. Right. I'm not even gonna bother like commenting on why I don't even know what I was rambling on about there at the start. Cause I can't remember every bit of my well I can barely remember any of my commentary I did. But no, I closed Audacity thinking I'd already saved the freaking commentary, but apparently not. Might as well get one thing I did later on in the video out of the way, and that is uh, just just like say thanks to the uh, just like I'm using my like normal caps cards for the recording, but just want to say thanks because I feel like it's kind of like. I haven't quite got, don't feel like I've really got across, but thanks. Really beat it. To the subscriber who sent the caps card and stuff like that. Just like, thanks. Just feel like I really just like, feel like I haven't properly said that. It's just like, it's weird, because what I'm going to move on to next, is I'm going to just give for a brief shout out to anyone that commented on my update videos. Because, why not? I kind of appreciate the kind of, you know, understanding and all that. And yet I say all this, but I'm just like, referring to su the subscriber who sent me this stuff as the subscriber. <laughs> it's just like, because I don't know if they'd want a shout out for that or not. It's just like, oh, they're not, they're not even asking permission if a shout out for the comedy on it. It's like, oh, it feels different in that case. So, shout out to Laser Show 9876, Charles Hawk, probably pronouncing that wrong, Ketsy or Ketsier, I don't have a clue how to pronounce the name, but the only person to comment on both the long updates and the original video where I was taking a break. So, I think I recognize this user. I think I've seen this user comment on some of my videos in the past. I think the same might be with Laser 976. Not sure about the other two. The other one is Blackbird 25K. Appreciate the support and understanding in that. Also, I should get back to the actual video here. So, like, King of Red Lines is like, It's too dangerous to allow any further in this direction. We must turn back. Because, uh, well, you know, they had to make a limitation, didn't they? Can't just, like, wander off endlessly into the ocean. Because it's like they made a map and they don't want you going any further. So instead of being like, oh, an invisible wall, it's just like, no, Link, that, that's like too dangerous going that way in this boat. So, you know, fuck off and just sail elsewhere. And as you can see by the fact that it's still on that line right there, I obviously went into a ramble of sorts and I can't remember what I was rambling about. Oh, wait. I think I was rambling about originally was like, I remember like early on in the video I rambled about kind of like the original, that long update video I did, originally what I wanted to do was like do that kind of thing, but while playing this game, kind of give a bit of an update. It's like kind of a mixed kind of thing and I didn't end up doing that obviously. And honestly it wouldn't have really, I felt like I needed to just like, you know, just get it out of my system with that long update videos because there's three minutes of me like talking about what happened with my mental health, mental breakdown and all that. I think it would feel a bit out of place if I did that 
<laughs> part of my Wind Waker LP, obviously. Or even if I just briefly played a game, it just would feel out of place. I mean, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, it just felt like it's more of a serious kind of thing, I don't know, it's like, yeah, I had a mental breakdown, it's like, I've, I've kind of recovered from it now. It's like, I'm trying not to acknowledge it too much, because my mind tends to flip things up on their heads when I acknowledge shit like that too much. It's, it's just like, anxiety, man, and depression is fucking horrible. If you, if you've ever suffered with any of that, or know someone who's up with it, you can probably understand. And even without that, you can probably understand anyway, because it's just horrible. So, like, I didn't have any plans for this recording, so I was, like, looking through my treasure charts, and I was like, hey, maybe we can go treasure hunting. And spoilers! <laughs> didn't even freaking end up doing that. It's just like I was like looking at the islands nearby to see if if it would be nearby, you know, for a treasure. And I was like, oh, five star isles fits that one, so let's go find that treasure, essentially, you know. And also like that bit of the map, just like go get the fishman to update the map while on the way. But when I get to that spot where I update the map, I end up getting completely sidetracked and doing something else instead. Also, I remember getting interruption, but it's later on in the video, so... <laughs> it's kind of just like... There'll probably be like... Well, you wouldn't even really notice, really, with all the pauses here. It's because I rambled a lot in the video and talked and all that. Because that's generally how commentary works. You know? It's just... I've, I, I don't like doing post-commentary for these very reasons. Because I don't know how long I rambled on originally on something, how long I focused on something, what I talked about, rambled about, and when to go to the next point. What It's like I have an idea of what I do in the video, obviously, because I recorded it a couple hours ago. So I know, but it's just at the same time, it's just, it's a pain in the ass. I don't really do post commentary unless I really have to, like in this case, because I accidentally forgot to save the second half of my commentary. So, yeah. Just like the only other option would be to either A, re record it, which kind of feel pointless, honestly, and I saved the game anyway. I mean, I didn't really accomplish much of anything in this part, really, but still. And two, I could just leave it without commentary. <laughs> just like, be a breath of fresh air. Probably some people, it's like, yes. It's just so, well, no, it wouldn't actually, because these freaking long pauses, where I obviously clearly was rambling on for a long time, so it would still kind of feel awkward. Really awkward without commentary. Man, I stick on the screen for a long time, don't I? It's like, I can't remember what the fuck I was talking about during that. It must have been a bunch of random shit. Mm, I'm trying to think of what else I might have, like, talked about in this recording. Feels like I'm, it feels like I'm going about what I talked about in this video way faster than I actually did in the actual recording. So it feels like I've already kind of covered most of what I go over in this part before I even get to it. Heck, I could, in all, in all this time stuck on this freaking screen here, I could just might as well just say, it's like, what actually happens is, I get to the islands, and I end up, like, discovering a mini game on the island, and I play that instead, and that's pretty much the rest of this box. Just like, no, we do, the, no treasure or anything, it's just, uh, encounter an old character, do a mini game, get a bunch of rubies, and I take this guy's picture and I get a figurine developed and add it to the gallery, and that's it. That's pretty much the whole part in a nutshell, you know, progress wise. It's like, because when I started recording, I had no idea what I was actually gonna do. Because originally I thought I'd just kind of ramble about how things have been and all that, which I technically did quite a bit of in the original recording. And even in the post commentary that I have to do here, doing the same thing, you know? We just kind of like sail around just randomly and just, you know, kind of talk about things, you know? Just like, oh yeah, that's just like it was, it was pretty rough, but... 
since it's like the fact that I'm rambling just so much uh, it just feels like I'm kind of getting back to normal essentially that's kind of what I dislike obviously after something like that that's just like that's the main goal essentially it's like get a sense of normality back it's like uh, the other day I had a guitar lesson and went to college and all that just like getting that sense of normality back after that you know it's just surreal and the change in the season as well makes things really weird you know because like when a season changes it kind of affects you a bit as well mentally and I suppose physically because you could get a cold or shit like that because now the days are getting shorter the nights longer and winds and shit it gets colder and darker and bleh looking you know Looks like I'm about to... Yep, there we go. Finally, back to the game there. So, just sailing away. Yeah. And then we're back on this freaking menu. <laughs> Come on, get on with it, past me! Because I can't remember what past me was talking about during all of this recording. And that's why I don't do post commentary. I mean, I repeat myself at this point, but it's true. I don't do post commentary for these very reasons. Because it'd just be like. I'd just like be looking. Like, even if I didn't. Like, if I just recorded and didn't actually commentate over it, I was just like, no, I'm just gonna record this straight without, like, stopping the ramble or anything like that. And just leave it up to post commentary to decide on that. I would be like, you know, it'd just be like, I'd have to hold back on rambling a lot, which I find hard to do, obviously. Because I'd be like, oh, what, I don't know, like, how much, like, time I spend on this or that in the video. I'd have to probably watch it multiple times just to get a feel for it. It just wouldn't work. I prefer it to, like, you know, record my commentary along with it. But I use Audacity with that. And I'm gonna keep using it that way, even though it did lag right at the end of the video, but it doesn't matter here, it does hit. Heck, I'm freaking recording with Audacity right now! But, you get it, yeah, I just, I like it that way. It's like, I wanna set up the uh, capture card that was sent in, potentially, in the living room, see if I can get it, because there's more room in the living room, obviously. There's much more space and it's easier to access TV and shit. And all the cables needed, because, like, none of the consoles I use are so straightforward, because, like, it's a capture card that's more up-to-date, you know, current-generation consoles, you know, like PS4, Xbox One, and stuff like that. When it comes to any other console, you gotta, like, select other instead, because it doesn't have them on there. It's just like the PS3 is the only console I have that is like the HDMI, you know? I thought it'd be like, okay, HDMI cable in there. All needed. Nope. Because of the copy protection or some shit on it, makes it hard for HDMI to work or something with the PS3. So I had to use a splitter and I like had trouble setting that up and I still couldn't set it up. But I think I might kind of like having talk to my brother and showed him the splitter thing, see if he could work out what I'm supposed to do, and I think I kind of know what I'm supposed to do. And I'd rather set up in the living room, because there's more space, because everything just needs something, you know? PS3 needs a splitter, which uh, which was kindly given to the subscriber he sent, stuff like that, just like, just like, just overly generous. And like, the AV converter for like, PS2 and GameCube, for example, don't have HDMI, so gotta convert the AV cables to HDMI. So it like it's like a human centipede of technology, and it like literally could like the whole leads could spread beyond my bed and further, and there's like barely any room. So yeah, I think the living room the ideal like room setups, all that. I'm still gonna stick with my main catch card, though, with the GameCube and maybe the PS2 as well, because it just feels more natural. I mean, you, my catch card uses AV cables, so it goes straight in, you know? You know what, with the headphones on, I'm just now noticing in the soundtrack there as it's approaching. It's gotta be the Jaws theme going on there, doesn't it? It's like... Drum, 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 drum. Just 
like those bloody... Are they called sea hats or pea hats? I think they're called sea hats. Sea hats, I think, are the smaller ones you find in some of the dungeons. It's like Fishman. You really picked the spot there. I remember saying those exact words at some point while approaching him. You're just like, you have to be against the wind, freaking asshole. Luckily, those sea hats didn't really cause me any trouble there, so I was able to get the fish man there, as you can see. Hi, yeah. small fry! Feel why, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, I feel it. I think you want to try to invade some out of Stop me up and have your sick chop, for God's sake. How many times have we been through this? It may have been freaking over a month now, but fucking hell. Boating course, what an odd name for Ireland, but it makes sense when we actually get on the island. Let me ask something, for I have you been using R to make your boat jump? Wait, have what? Uh, see what I mean? Uh, of course, having to jump around, you know, it's pretty real dumb if you ask me, and uh, that's all you want to do. It's because I can't keep up with it, because I can't remember how fast I read it. Anyway, what are you going to use to tell the mouse in the sharp turn if you didn't know that? Why don't you try it out? I skipped some of the lines because I don't know how fast I read it. See, I couldn't even read that. You want to hear it again? You'll have to throw some more beer in the water. For, sorry, that's my first fire. I can't go for that. Even if it's never go, I'm there. I'm off. It's like I can't keep up <laughs> with it because, like, I'm, like, rambling. But at the same time, I'm reading the dialogue. And it's hard to keep up because, like, sometimes when I'm recording, I ramble in between. But that time, I obviously read it you know, reasonably quick, straight to the point, and I tried to get on the island this way, and I was like, eh, it ain't happening. <laughs> just like, ah, shit. They're just like, Link, Link, get on the boat. And it's just like, I don't know how the person who, like, seems to own this little islandy place got up there, but I assume it's probably because he's got, he's taller and more muscular, so you can probably get up there, obviously. But Link can't, so I eventually realized, oh, there's a tree there, of course, the hook shots. I eventually get the hook shot out, throw it there, and use it to get up there. <coughs> And then I probably rambled about something and I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, and I also took his picture as well. Because he didn't have his picture and I was like, Wait, isn't that the guy from Windfall Island? And guess what? It, we don't, it's like I only find out right at the end of the video, but it is! It's the same guy! And you know why that's confusing? Well, I'll do the dialogue first. Hey, that's a pretty slick book you got there, kiddo! Ah, uh, so what do you say, kiddo? You want to play uh, a boat game for 30 rupees? What do you say? Give me rules. Well, I ain't that good a talker. But here goes, now listen up. The deal is, you take your boat and sail over the barrels floating in the water and see how many rupees you can bring in to finish and within the time limit. There's two kinds of floating barrels you gotta watch out for. The ones that float in their sides and the ones that are upright. You can get rubies above the barrels floating down the side just by sitting right over the barrels. But if you run into the barrels, flash it up right into one you will uh, tough you up. Tough you up. You know, if you press R, you jump. Right, boy. Yeah, well, to get rubies over the upright barrels, you gotta jump with R. It's the only way. The barrels get placed out there based on which way the wind's blowing. So watch that wind go behind your boat real carefully. Right? Oh, and one more thing. It's time runs out before you finish. You lose. So what's the timer, too? Well, yeah. Them's rules. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? What do you say? Alrighty, then. Go down to the skyline. Finally. Now I can ramble again. <laughs> it's just like, uh... It's what makes that confusing is that he's on that island. He seems to own the place. He's got his own little mini game place set up here, which is nice and all. But there's just one problem with that. He's a Windfall Island resident. But his figurine is in the uh, room for, you know, uh, uh, characters that you find out on the Great Sea. But we do see him at Windfall in the cafe. 
Hey, but it's at night, and we freaking came to the island, and it's night. It's just like you see in two places at once. It's just confusing. But yeah, this mini game isn't too hard, and we make a decent amount of rubies from it. I do get hit at some point, but oh, that. Just like, oh, you're spoiling the race. There isn't really a race. Well, I guess there is, really. It's a race against the timer. You get plenty of time, really. So you can hit the barrels on the top. You just can't, ru like, directly hit them face first or they'll explode like those barrels right there. They may not look like they would, but they do. And because they had been so long since I played a GameCube game, I was like, find the camera a bit awkward to use because it's like, fuck, how does the controls work again? Because it had been at, like a month, you know, by this point. And then that's what happens if you hit them. You get the rubies at least, but <laughs> knocks you back. So yeah, watch out for barrels. Leap. That explosion was really well timed if you ask me. <laughs> when the movies are going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. A red ruby, which is nice. Oh yeah, right there when I paused the game, that's when I got an interruption. Because I had food. So it ended up being a short part, but honestly I don't feel like I could really have done much else in this recording anyway. Besides, it was already getting pretty late, it was about nearly I think it was around about 8 when I recorded this. 8 p.m. and Link's face was just like, whoa, that was cool. It's quite a decent amount of treasure for that, isn't it? I don't know if you can actually get anything else though. Oh, where are you to be? Alright then, here's 144 rubies you collected, I promise. They're all yours and you're like, you know. Looks like you made a fortune. Come back and do it again sometime. And then I commented something along the lines of, well, maybe if there's something else of note in this place, you know. Like, maybe if you do it in a certain amount of time, maybe you get a piece of heart or something like that. If it's anything like that, I might return to do more of that. And I was cutting the grass there, looking for some magic refilling. But alas, there is no magic grass. Not on this little island, anyway. Can't remember what I. It's like it's just so awkward. Those commentaries, because I can't. Because I don't know what I bloody said at any point in the video. It's like, but I made the video. It's just like, yeah, that was a few hours ago. It's like 11 p.m. right now. It feels weird to do any commentary, you know, right now. It's like pretty late, you know. Wouldn't do any recording like properly. And I decided just like, since, you know, Forest Haven were right there, I just ended up like, because the part felt short, I was just like, might as well just on screen go through it all, you know? There was no actual things I had in mind to edit or anything. Like, even when I, like, you know, just like, do the whole figurine shit, I was like, nah, just like I was rambling the whole way through, rather than be like, okay, i uh, like do the song of passing and edit it all out for that and just like back down with the uh, figurine guy but I didn't have any of that because now I rambled on like I am now so I'm gonna keep it consistent there. Through Forest Haven. Wow wow wow. What do our instruments use overall? You know, it really does annoy me though, because there's just like there were a bunch of things I rambled about and I can't remember everything. And I can't exactly do it word for word the way it's originally done. You can't really do that, it's just like it's spontaneous like commentary. So to spontaneously do the same commentary you did originally without even like having it wrote down or anything or recorded just like it's impossible heck even if it was recorded it'd be impossible to recreate it it's just just like 
It's like, you know, I don't know. Just one of those things, you know. So I went here, all this land, and it's like, here's a picture. And he's like, ah, hmm, ha, ha, hmm, hmm. Yeah, this is quite an inspiring motive. Hurrah, I'm full of inspiration. Please, please, please sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. All right, here's your jewel. You'll have to wait until tomorrow. I bet you're looking forward to seeing what you're going to get. I voice acted him differently. But obviously, in the original recording, I always give him a kind of over-the-top voice. But I can't, like, be too loud. It's like 11 p.m. for crying out loud. I must have rambled about something here. Oh wait, no, this is actually when the uh, caps card lagged, and I think it's Audacity that lags, honestly, because it's the only thing that's really affected. Because, just like, my commentary just like would have disappeared, but it disappeared all together because I forgot to bloody save it. But yeah, this would be the part where it lagged. This would be the part of the video where it lagged. And I was like, okay, I sync it up. Just like got a sword out, and it's like I was like use the sword in said number of seconds, and I'd like on the you know kind of free kind of thing, you know, like I usually do when trying to resync up audio. Heck, I did it at the start of this as well, didn't I? It was like I will click the video in three, two, one, and did that, you know. It's so that it makes it easier for me to sync it up, you know. Otherwise, it's just a pain in the ass. That's definitely a sitar in the soundtrack, isn't there? Can't remember what I rambled about here. Maybe I was rambling about, like, just like. I think this, like I said, towards the end of the video is where I rambled on about, like, your subscribers and the comments and all that. Oh, wait, did I mention at the start of this? I don't think I did, actually. <laughs> that, um. I'd actually got match third party content from Nintendo on my uh, long update video because of I you like had the New Year video in the background and it you know had Wind Waker on it as well. So there's just like it wasn't a soundtrack or anything, it was just a visual. It's just like, oh match third party content on that. So like really Nintendo? I mean I don't really care. As long as it doesn't take down my video or anything like that, or block in all the countries. I don't care, I don't monetize my videos, so I don't give a shit. But still, really, you have to freaking do it on my freaking update video. <laughs> that just seems a bit absurd. Just like me, there's me talking about having a mental breakdown and recovering from it, and Nintendo's like, hey, that's, uh, that's a match third party content, that video. It's like, what the hell? And he's like, I can't even remember what the hell I was rambling on about at this point, but I'd rambled about that earlier in the video. Might have been in the first half that I actually had come there, I don't know. Welcome to the Fig Your request is ready. I know I always said it, but some of the best work I've done in quite a while. Go to that door there to check it out. I put it in the first room on the right. My right. See, it's not the Windfall Island room, it's the, you know, Ocean Room. Which is weird, because he's you can be found both on that island, which is out in the ocean, and also on Windfall Island in the cafe. It's weird. It's a very Native American look to him, doesn't he? And I was just like, uh, right about here, it's like, A or something like that, because I thought he was giving a thumbs up, but then I was like, oh no, he isn't. Lout, loot the sailor, birthplace Windfall Island, his only fear, the merman. <laughs> Just find that, what kind of name is that? Loot the sailor. You'd think his fear would be mutiny with a name like that. It's like, no, don't loot me. Loot spends his days working far from home at the boating course. He takes his earnings straight to the cafe bar on Windfall to enjoy a relaxing beverage. That's where I found out it was the same guy, and I was like, how does that make sense? I've seen him at the, I'm pretty sure I've seen him at the cafe during the night time as well. It's just, like, what the hell? I made a stupid joke about, like, you know, Spyro 2, because the NPCs in that game seem to be able to be in one place one moment, and then you turn around the corner and they're there. It's just like, but it was a really stupid joke. 
and it didn't quite work, I don't feel, so... Why I'm even bringing it up, I don't know, but it's something I do remember saying in the video itself, on the original recording. So, uh, I can't remember what I rambled on about towards the end, but whatever. So anyways, it's getting towards the end of the video now, so much like I originally would say at the end of the video, I guess, coming up, it's like... Just feels weird to get back after all this time though, I gotta say, but just like little steps at a time. So, I shall see you next time viewers. See you next time.